What's up guys, I got requested to do a quadrant benchmark test for my Jelly Bean Transformer Prime. So yeah, this is it. Let's get straight into this. I've closed out all the apps. I should say before I start I have forced GPU rendering in developer options. So the 2D score should be quite good. Let's see what it gets. What about a massive reflection? <laughs> we'll try and get the frames per second because that's more important, really. Pretty good range per second on most of these tests, so see what we get. Wow, okay, so we've scored 3,855, which is actually below the original Transformer, which scores just over 4,000. So let's have a look at why that is. Um, the first thing we should know is we're actually scoring higher in CPU compared to the old one. So the CPU is doing better than the old one. The memory looks about the same. Where we're losing our, our points is the I.O. So I'm not quite sure why that is because Jelly Bean is the smoothest I.O. But, you know, that I.O. there is from 2750 to 3500 whereas I, the IO in Jelly Bean is well you can see there 2800 to 3100 so a lot lot shorter everything else is about the same um, but that's where we're losing the IO so if the IO was normal it would be above it because we're actually getting better CPU scores if we look down here CPU, memory, I.O., 2D and 3D. I'm not sure why the I.O. is low because this is the best, um, this is the smoothest the tablet's ever been, so you'd expect the I.O. to be better. But there you go, it's quadrant standard for you, so take it with a pinch of salt, but there it is. Hope you enjoyed it.